Hi students. Last time we saw this lesson, My Childhood. It's all about autobiography of APJ Abdul Kalam. It's written by Abdul Kalam himself. This is actually an extract from the book The Wings of Fire which contains 180 pages. Let us go through this lesson in detail. Can you think of any scientists who have also become statesmen? Statesman is man who is a leader in national or international affairs. APJ Abdul Kalam whose projects in space defense and nuclear technology guided India into the 21st century became our 11th president in 2002. In his biography, Wings of Fire, he speaks of his childhood. This is what we are going to see today. How Abdul Kalam's childhood was. I was born, so it is the from you know it is a first person narrating his experience, childhood experience. Who is narrating? Abdul Kalam himself is narrating. So I was born into a middle class Tamil family in the island town of Rameswaram. In the erstwhile, erstwhile means former before how it was called Madras now it is Chennai Chennai state Madras state my father Jainal Abadin, had neither much formal education nor much wealth so he did not have any formal education or nor wealth lot of property money Despite these disadvantages, in spite of all these disadvantages, he possessed great innate wisdom. Innate means inborn, qualities that you have in nature. Okay, inborn, it is already inherited from your four parents. Innate wisdom, wisdom means insight or use of knowledge to judge things and true generosity of spirit this was his quality his father's quality innate quality he had an ideal helpmate that's his mother in my mother ashima ashima was his mother i do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day here you can look at the spirit of generosity his mother used to feed a lot of people but I am quite certain quite sure that far more outsiders ate with us than all the members of our own family oh, many outsiders ate with the family more than the members of the family they put together I was one of many children, a short boy, the feature, physical feature of Abdul Kalam, how he looked like, a short boy with rather undistinguished looks. It was not uh, kind of um, very good looking or some undistinguished looks, born to tall and handsome parents. We lived in our ancestral house, which was built in the middle of the 19th century. It's a very old house, ancestor's house, four parents' house. It was a fairly large pakka house made of limestone and brick. It usually used to be a very strong house when you build with the limestone and brick on the mosque street in Rameswaram. My austere father, here austere means what is simple and uh, strict. His father was very strict as well as very simple. He used to avoid all the essential, 
all the used to avoid all in essential comforts unnecessary comforts and luxuries however all necessities were provided that doesn't mean abdul kalam did not get anything any necessity no, all the necessities were provided for in terms of food medicine or clothes so in fact i would say mine was very secure childhood both materially and emotionally his parents were taking care of the children very well the second world war broke out in 1939 as all of us know when i was 8 year old when abdul kalam was 8 years old the second world war broke out for reasons i have never been able to understand a sudden demand for tamarind seeds erupted in the market it burst it all of a sudden it to begin it was in demand what was in demand tamarind seed was in demand in the market i used to collect the seeds and sell them to a provision shop on most street why this happened when the world war broke out many lost their lives many lost their uh, livelihood and therefore he started helping the parents by collecting the tamarind seeds and selling them in a provision store provision shop on mass street a day's collection would fetch me a princely sum of onana onana is equal to i think it's old a uh, way of calling money onana is like uh, four paise or something my brother in law jail jaladin would tell me stories about the war which i would later attempt to trace in the headlines in dinamani so his brother in law is to tell him some stories about the war uh, later abdul kalam himself would read the newspaper from from the newspaper dinamani this is tamil newspaper our area being isolated was completely unaffected by the war this his area was not affected why because it was just isolated it was an island but soon india was forced to join the allied forces and something like a state of emergency was declared so many people many soldiers were in demand and it was declared it was declared as emergency the first casualty came in the form of the suspension of the train the trains were first suspended train halt at rameswaram station so the newspapers now had to be bundled and thrown out from the moving train so he used to help his brother in law and the rameswaram road between rameswaram and danushkodi that forced my cousin samsuddin who distributed newspapers in rameswaram to look for a helping hand to catch the bundle so abdul kalam used to stand at the platform and he used to catch the bundle and keep it. and as if naturally i filled the slot slot is a board you know the carrier of the bicycle we can say when you ride a bicycle you have back seat carrier and in that carrier you can uh, tie something like a slot a board or flat wooden box there he used to fill the newspapers after collecting the bundles samsudin helped me earn my first wages half a century later i can still feel the surge of pride in earning my own money for the first time as a small boy when uh, 
Abdul Kalam earned his first wage. He used to feel proud and he used to cherish that um, experience. Every child is born with some inherited characteristics into a specific socio-economic and emotional environment. You know, when a child is born, he learns everything from his background, his specific socio-economic in his society how the economic condition is and the emotional environment of the family so all these things are inherited by the child from the family and the surrounding and trained in certain ways by figures of authority i inherited honesty and self discipline from my father so these two qualities abdul kalam learned or inherited from his father what are they honesty and self discipline from my mother i inherited faith in goodness and deep kindness to be kind and to be faithful from his mother and so did my three brothers and sister not only abdul kalam but also his siblings learned these things from their parents i had three close friends in my childhood who are they Ramanatha Sastri, Aravindan and Svapravasan. All these boys were from Orthodox Hindu Brahmin families. Orthodox means very conventional, very conservative, very strict Hindu Brahmin families. As children, none of us, as children, none of us ever felt any difference among ourselves. They never felt any any difference among themselves they were all together because of our religious differences and upbringing because the way they lived together hindus and muslims lived together they never felt difference in fact ramanatha sastri was the son of pakshi lakshmana sastri the high priest of the rameswaram temple later he took over the priesthood of the rameswaram temple from his father aravindan went into the business of arranging transport for visiting pilgrims so aravindan became arranging uh, transportation for uh, those pilgrims who used to come to rameswaram and shivaprasan became a catering contractor contractor for the southern railways so all of them were settled well settled during the annual shri sita rama kalyanam it is a festival hindu festival ceremony our family used to arrange boats with a special platform for carrying idols of the lord from the temple to the marriage site which was situated in the middle of the pond called Rama Tirtha Rama Tirtha which was near our house events from the ramayana and from the life of the prophet were the bedtime stories my mother and grandmother would tell the children in our family so his mother and grandmother used to t- narrate stories of ramayana so before they go to bed these are bedtime bedtime stories i mean just imagine they were born as muslims and uh, they share the stories with their children the stories of ramayana and so on so they from here we can learn that they had no difference in difference among themselves they were all equally treated they saw everybody equally beyond the religious barriers i hope here everything is clear if you have doubt we can discuss in our class group thank you